the intent of our video is to create a video that can be used by industry, by state to, to help educate the tradesmen, and anyone that's in the construction industry that uses eye joists. Uh, this year's capstone project was to study the placement of holes in wooden eye joists. And the reason we're doing that is because today, almost every house is built with wooden eye joist floor systems or engineered floor systems. Um, the biggest issue though is that when people place holes within eye joists, they place in the wrong location, which usually affects the structural integrity of the eye joist. A lot of capstones are like research projects and things like that, but what we did was we took the knowledge that we gained here and actually got to do testing and to see, visually see, how the forces on the joist affected the structural integrity of it. We applied the knowledge we gained to predict how joists would react to when, when they're modified with holes of different sizes and shapes and then when they're subjected to loads. The holes are placed incorrectly on some locations in some houses and when they are placed incorrectly we either have to repair them or replace them which can cost a lot of money and time. The easiest way or one of the best ways I believe to train people on the correct placement of a hole in an eye joist is to show them a video. Show them what happens when you put a hole in the wrong spot and then show them how a joist is unaffected when a hole is put in the correct spot. So we did a testing program in our lab with my students and we had holes placed in the correct spots and in the wrong spots and we took the joist to destruction. We already laid out all of our holes, we showed up the day before and cut all the holes, figured out what we were going to do and then when we arrived at SAIT we loaded up the test frame. It was kind of an exciting event because the first test actually failed in the incorrect mode. And uh, so we had to quickly construct uh, lateral support so that it would fail in bending or shear instead of laterally. We ended up getting a good procedure down and, and the method down packed and the results were great. Once we did our testing, we've, we've been able to visually see how joists react to that kind of holes, different shapes in different locations. We've gathered the results and they, they matched our theory, not at 100%, but we've been able to prove that the theory is right and that we showed that when putting the hole in the wrong location, it can affect the structural integrity of the eye joist. If you're putting a hole in a joist anywhere other than the center, you're exposing it to extra shear forces that it doesn't need to be exposed to. And putting the hole off, this, off the center line of the joist basically decreases the shear capacity of the joist. When we had the holes in the center of the joist, the, the joists always failed in a bending mode, whereas once we moved it off the center line, they failed in shear because they lowered their shear capacity. And also being able to prove the effectiveness of a hole chart that's used by in our industry contact where they specifies the hole and location so that it doesn't affect the shear capacity of the eye joints. The main takeaway from this project was, was that the further inside, further to center that you place the hole, the less effect it will have on the structural integrity of the joist. We believe that um, we could save a lot of time and money out in the field if the holes are placed in the right spot. When people understand, when the tradespeople understand the correct placement of holes, then we shouldn't uh, have as many problems as we're having today. And we are experiencing anywhere from 20 to 30 incorrect placed holes per week. So developing a phone application that will allow the tradespeople to come up with hole specifications within seconds is a great idea. So the phone application is basically an app that will require the, the tradesperson to key in some information, some basic information like the hole's location, the hole size, the type of hole, 
and it'll quickly come up with results and, tell, and specify where the hole would be put so it doesn't affect the structural integrity of the eye joist. So hopefully we'll be able to do more testing next year on a bigger scale.